Hello all, welcome back to the channel. This is Elvi Prasad. Today the topic is about um, CI/CD, continuous integration and continuous deployment. The reason I picked up this topic is because um, nowadays when we attend any interview, the market is expecting uh, the DevOps along with our core skills, uh, like uh, the hands-on to the DevOps. Uh, if if not uh, the no basic knowledge on the DevOps, this is what the market expectation. So uh, just to give a overview idea, basic understanding on it. Um, so let's start with the topic. So to start with it, uh, we need to have the you know Jenkins installed in our uh, local mission. To get the installation, so get into the Jenkins site and uh, you know click on this uh, download button. So this will have the uh, installers uh, specific to the OS. If you are using Windows, so pick up this one and uh, either the Linux or the Docker. If you want to install the Jenkins within the Docker, that also the installation is available for that as well. It's in the form of an in image because the Docker understands the image formats. So right now what I have is a Mac OS, so I will be uh, you know picking up this one. And uh, even for Mac, uh, there are uh, two ways of installations. One is with the command line using the homebrew. So to install through this uh, command homebrew, you need to have the homebrew configured in the Mac. Then only this, uh, you know, this command will work. So uh, even in the command line, you can install. Uh, if you use this, uh, you know, the this command, it will pick the uh, latest uh, version to be installed. And uh, if you pick this uh, second command. Uh, where it will say is uh, you can install the uh, Jenkins based on the version number. So if you if you provide the version number, that specific version will get downloaded. And uh, the other way of installation is nothing but the native installer, where we have the you know the installer gets downloaded to the local mission, and basing on the so the uh, based on the UI instructions, you complete the installation. So uh, you can pick the installer from this link. Uh, it will have all the versions. All the all the uh, old to the latest versions available in this. Download the version which you want, uh, and start the installation. So right now I already have the you know the uh, the installer downloaded. Uh, this is the one. So I'll start the installation with this. Yes. Um, here continue and like the, the license which is open source. So no worries. And yeah, install for all the users. And yeah, install. Mm. Provide the credentials. It will take a minute to install. So let's wait for that. So once the um, oh yeah, it's already completed. So yeah, it's completed. Uh, the moment it completes uh, the installation, uh, the Jenkins will uh, open the uh, you know the um, UI in the any of the default browser, and it will launch the uh, and and it will ask for the password to be uh, um, entered into the UI configuration. So it is taking time to make the UI ready. Yeah. So once the UI is uh, ready in the backend, um, it will ask for the password. And the password will be uh, available in this file. Either it is a you know Windows or the Linux or the Docker mission uh, based on that OS uh, OS where you are installing. The path will be vary based on the OS. So right now it's a Mac, so it's uh, showing this uh, you know directory. So let's get into this directory. It says users. So get into the users. Users shared Jenkins home secrets. So um, in uh, in uh, in Mac uh, there's a thing that uh, uh, even though we are an admin by default uh, secrets will be uh, you know uh, will be added as a secrets of um, directory will be uh, locked I mean encrypted um, so that it won't be available for all the users just to uh, to enable it uh, you just have to uh, unlock the uh, you know um, this um, restriction. The, that is uh, that you, you can do it simply by the right clicking on it uh, get info you know so if you see this here so there is a user everyone everyone is a user and uh, he is having only the uh, no access either what I can do is unlock this uh, folder and add myself uh, to this uh, directory otherwise make the everyone as a read and write access 
okay so let's do that so i wanted to make everybody as a read and write so that that includes myself as well the person who logged in so i lock it again um, so if you see that the restriction is gone now so if you click on this again you will see the uh, you know the internal uh, directories of it okay so if you try to access this one try to open it by with any default text editors you still don't have access though you have given the you know the parent level directory the child uh, files and directories are still restricted without the, even though the icon is not displayed but that's not, not a problem we can do it uh, from the command line so I will start like this let me navigate to this uh, directory right so if you see it here um, we are in that directory where the uh, Jenkins is installed and uh, we are inside the secrets and here we should have the admin password file uh, yeah this is the file so if you directly try to access that means if you directly try to read that file cat is the command which is used to read the content inside the file so if you try if you try to read it it will say the permissions denied so what you can do is you can use the sudo command uh, just app, uh, prefix sudo to your command and provide the sudo password sorry sudo type of issue sudo just provide the sudo password which is nothing but the user password right so here is the uh, key for the admin password but just enter that key here and uh, you know uh, no I don't want to say the password so uh, it will it, it's asking to install the plugins so there are few basic plugins which my which we need it even though you don't install it at the time of you know Jenkins uh, UI configuration uh, once you have the UI ready anyways you will end up uh, in uh, installing the basic uh, plugins so it is recommended that you start installing at the time of you know uh, UI configuration itself so these are all the basic plugins uh, you know uh, like uh, git ssh build agents the ldap um, all these plugins are basic uh, which are needed uh, git is uh, nothing but uh, where we have the you know the uh, our the automation of the source code uh, repository where it got check gets checked in an ldap plugin is like um, you know uh, for every corporate uh, they will have their own uh, ldap server uh, where it, which which it contains all the employees uh, database employees data so if you have the ldap plugin and if you configure your ldap server to this plugin uh, with that uh, what happens is uh, if you if you if you want to give this this jenkins access to your colleagues or your uh, anybody in the team you can just uh, open this LDAP and uh, provide the access to that specific uh, corporate uh, employee ID or the employee user email. So with that, what happens is the employee can log in only with using the corporate credentials. And also it would be easy to track uh, any changes done by anybody using their you know, corporate ID. And the rest of all, like, uh, you know, uh, pipeline stage view. This is one of the, you know, beautiful plugin to view the pipeline the st stages of pipeline and the statuses of pipeline um, when when I, when we create the uh, job with the pipeline this is the stage view of a pipeline and this is the default pipeline plugin where you create the um, you know the scripted uh, uh, pipeline structure within the uh, Jenkins and the rest are all like uh, default plugins which may or may not uh, use so uh let's wait for it all the plugins to download it might take a couple of minutes let's wait for that I forgot to mention that um, you know say so you see this SSH build agents plugin so um, you know uh, in um, in this uh, git repository you can clone or you can pull the uh, uh, you know your code in two ways right one is the using the HTTPS uh, repository URL and another one is the SSH uh, URL so if you have this uh, SSH build agent plugin what you can do is uh, you can uh, create your SSH credentials in Jenkins 
uh, by using the authorized key I mean uh, so to do that what you have to do is initially you have to create a SSH key in your mission either it could be a Windows mission Mac or the Linux mission um, in, in that mission you have to create an SSH key and provide that SSH key in the Jenkins user you have to create a user in Jenkins and provide this SSH key and the same key uh, you have to provide that in the git repository authentication git repository authentication page so that what happens is uh, when you when you do the pull uh, push or the, uh, you know clone what happens is this SSH uh, by using the SSH URL what happens is uh, the uh, local mission and the your user credentials will be uh, authenticated using the SSH uh, mode that means the uh, key which is passed within the Jenkins user and the key which is passed in the git repository will get uh, you know verified at the time of uh, clone pull push and all that so with that uh, like you will be giving access to the, the, the specific user to for that uh, you know repository using the Jenkins user so, so that's that's the uh, beauty of that plugin and once all the plugins are installed uh, you'll land up into the uh, user creation page uh, it is uh, required actually so if you just uh, if you don't create the user and if you just say continue as an admin um, that will work but still once you you know uh, restart the mission you you will end up uh, not able to log in the, the that is because you are not created any user so just to avoid all that all that kind of any issues uh, just create a user uh, default user Awesome password full name okay and an email ID okay uh, yeah so once you give the user details just say save and continue uh, no I don't want to save this so uh, it is asking whether you wanted to go with the local host name or you wanted to give any specific name so it is recommended that provide the um, you know the system host name the along with the domain uh, fully qualified domain uh, that you can do it right now or uh, it can be done anytime up the after the installation is completed the ui configuration is completed so let's save and continue yes start the jenkins yes so the user got logged in right so even if you log out you can log in with the same user want to say okay yeah so this completes the basic uh, installation of Jenkins so the UI will be you know uh, will be like this so here here is the located uh, you know the dashboard where you can uh, you know create the new jobs and create the pipelines so um, this completes the uh, today's topic which is about uh, you know installing the Jenkins and uh, in the next topic we will see how to create a uh, you know a freestyle job and also a you know the pipeline job and how do we clone the repositories and also we will see how do we clone the repository using the ssh key and all that in the upcoming videos okay uh, thank you for now thank you for watching thanks for your time bye bye